Buying an extension lead is usually as easy as walking into a store, picking up an extension lead and heading for the tills. But how do you know you've chosen the right lead? Extension leads are rated in amps and this, together with how many wires or cores the lead contains, are the two most important factors to look at. Looking at the cores first, most extension leads nowadays have three cores. However, one still gets two core leads such as this one, indicated by a plastic earth pin and no earth contacts on the socket. If your appliance has an earth, this lead should not be used. This plug does not have earth contacts, so this lead and this plug would be fine together. The amp rating is how much power the cable can handle. Exceeding the amp rating can result in damage to the cable or a fire. Amps can be calculated by dividing the wattage of your appliance by 240 volts. A standard kettle uses between 7 and 9 amps. This multi-cube is really handy. It has a standard 3-pin socket, a 2-pin Euro plug, two USB ports and a Shuko socket. And look at this, it even has a wireless cell phone charging base. The rest of the leads are what we are all familiar with. Generally, the difference is at the socket end. Extension leads with an amp rating of 10 and 16 are the most common. Personally, I would choose the higher. As for the length, that's your call. But rather use a single, longer lead than joining two shorter leads. It's just safer that way. If you have an extension lead on a reel, don't leave it wound up while using it, especially with heavy loads such as power tools. Extension leads generate heat and we want as much air around the cable to cool it as possible. Rather unwind the lead and simply leave it on the ground, it's quick enough to reel it in afterwards. This is why you never run an extension lead under a carpet. The heat generated could pose a safety risk. Builders has a range of electrical accessories such as extension leads available both in-store or online at builders.co.za. For more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.